Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty together with uh, what it's called Grandmaster Mode. So Iron Man really. It is time for us to get the bloom uh, even further back. We can uh, win two requisition if we're playing it correct. And I figured we might go in with a team that you have seen before. And we're going in with uh, JP Mulet, uh, who is going to be our number one Justicar. He's lightly wounded, but we still got to take him. Uh, we have uh, Jim Mulet, sorry. We got JP Pauly uh, joining our ranks as the Interceptor. So welcome to the team as well. Uh, Mrs. Grell, um, I need to gender appropriately put you as Mr. Grell in here because there are no female space marines, but Grell Gal is going to be our next apothecary and Lena, aka Linus, is going to be yet another apothecary. So we do have two times healing, trying out the staff for, uh, for Grell uh, because we already have that healing um, weapon once. And we got plenty of healing metal things, so that's not bad. We have a blocker on the stratagems due to the uh, nice little random event. But that doesn't uh, prevent us from doing the good deed of the Emperor. Let's go down there and give them a hard time. All right, we're learning the higher the bloom corruption, the more the warp surge meter rises up. So let's hope. Planet classification, third world. However, all archival data has been excised. Scans suggest a mass orbital bombardment has occurred. Even in the broken husk of exterminators, our enemy has a cruel wit indeed. We must return his jest with fire and vengeance. So wait, we exterminated this area and Nurgle is still spawning? Seek and destroy the bloom spawn. Uh-huh, okay. Win the mission with no critical injuries. Well, that should not be a problem. Alright, we gotta get all the way back there. That's a pretty far distance. Yes, sir. Good. Moving up. My blade. Jim is yours. moves up. JP is following him. Unleash me. Grell Unleash is moving me. up, and Linus is moving up as well. Standing ready. All right, as you can see, I'm trying to push even a little bit further. That way I'm hoping that we're going to save some time. Oh, 20% bloom. Here. Oh, that's a lot. Fair enough, we know I enemies are sell. there. Which in return means I don't want to yet trigger them. You command. On the yes, Commander. Good, but I want to trigger them before the turn ends. Oh, wow. Another Chaos Space Marine. There, I see what do we have here? Let's check this guy. He has one mutation, clearly this belly here. 
50% uh, resistance, armor, um, attacks, drain, willpower. Ooh, what's this nasty? Damage plus one. Okay. Damage plus one. Maybe that's a melee damage. By the way, this guy really looks absolutely nasty. Okay, so. The Emperor lights our path. How about we are moving into full cover? And how about we're getting all of these guys out of cover with a holy hand grenade? That was some most excellent explosions. Most of these guys are down. Yeah. Apothecary Grell moves down. before then moving into cover. Good hit. Fantastic hit. I like it. Your orders? Move to here and we should be good to go to kill this guy. He will get the chance to hit us, and so I will give him a fair shot. Let's upgrade our armor to fight. Cool. Follow me, these. This here will be strike and then adjacent target to deal damage. And it has quite a bit of um, extra damage. Let's see if this is worth it. You the thing charges in here. and Let's remove his arm. <laughs> cool. Worked like a charm thanks to uh, the automatic crit. Nice. Good hit. Fabulous hit. Good. Before we're moving any, f uh, before we're doing anything further, let's move up here. And just out of curiosity, yeah, that strike will kill him. What is your will? Nice. Okay, I'm getting the hang of the game. 
That first explosion was the key to success here. Apothecaries move in and our front line moves in as well. Starting from behind again. Yes, oh, that's battle. a lot of enemies right there. The orders. Me. So just double checking that we're My not going to lose too much time. Meaning, when we are engaging, I don't want to be too far behind. You call us laptops, uh, lapdogs of the false emperor. The Last time I checked, Horus got his ass kicked by the emperor. Just pointing that out. Yes. So, not sure whom you're calling a false emperor here. But maybe this holy hand grenade will teach you of manners. The golden throne. Oh yeah, for the golden Lord. throne. Indeed. Not a lot of cover here. Which is really a shame. These guys will be coming in soon. What is your will? Unleash me. Go. So what we can do is we can move to here. could make sure that they are not coming up here, which I think is not a bad idea. Can't really kill anyone, so might as well use Overwatch here. They shall not pass. Shield. Big fat shield. We're going to get 100% uh, anyways. Let's check how that bleeding um, affects uh, them. Position secured, Commander. Uh, JP, what are we going to do with you? Listen, I mean, we can put you to here. That's full cover. I think that's not a bad idea. Another one down! 
minor damage. Ah, now they are starting to focus. That's not good. I sense the enemy Oh wow. What are these guys? I will fight you. Just wait. Fantastic. Nurgle's poison zones. Alright, so what is this guy here about? Uh, up to four corpses within an area of three. Rise. Never know. Uh uh. Blood Poxwalker needs to die. And if he is reduced, he explodes. Okay, and it's a melee, melee attacker. I got gotcha. you. Yes, Commander. Good. Lots of bleeding. Then, as the next uh, thing, let's just heal so that we're good. My wrath is restored. Your orders? Gain. And we can just force strike and hopefully get this guy down. Good hit. Another force strike and he should be down. Another one down. Good, given that we will take retaliation. Just um, giving us armor. Get this guy down. We're need, uh, needing to deal enough damage, so two cybols. This is ammunition depleted. Hail. Waiting for targets. All right, cool. Here. Uh, we would be taking Nurgle's stupid fire damage. I am wondering. We do have a sword, so 50% of uh, the melee attacks should be parried. Cybolt wouldn't kill him immediately. And these guys are bleeding, right? Right. So... In a sense, if we hit them once, the bleed should finish them off. So... One hit. To the enemy! And another hit. Good. The bleed should kill both of them. And we're giving ourselves extra armor. 
and so are we. Aegis is just super good. This guy does not die from bleeding, but I think he did after, after he reanimated his friend. Okay, cool. We're good. Very nice. Purify. My wrath is restored, brother. Unleash me. Can't really get through there. And we don't have line of sights, which sucks. Here. Good. One strike. A nice little four strike. Uh, we disabled the pestilence explosion. Oh wow, the they can ex uh, they will. can still exist without a head. Well, isn't that convenient? of these guys no match for the Emperor's chosen. need to learn that the Emperor is not negotiating with hostage takers. Alright, uh, making ourselves immune to your damage and shortly afterwards Moving up, vengeance. and we're delivering we'll vengeance. Commander. Forty-two points of damage. Uh, yeah, we're moving up, and I can tell you, this is not going to be very nice. Once we are with you, you're going to suffer. But unfortunately, we're going to. Be weakened in the meantime, but we're healing our brother here. of reinforcements okay so that's one down down Ooh. 
three down. And this guy dies. Just like his friends. Good, since we're the only one here, might as well just prevent us from taking more damage. of damage if we force strike that's three Good. So far, so good. Um, Standing ready. Let's get Base this guy down. One. Wait, 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 wait. We have that cleansing strike, which should disable that pestilence explosion. Thank you. Curse it! Cannot focus. This every single turn. The bite of my sword. Very nice. Finally, a crit and another one. And another one. It will be done. But once you get really close to it, it, can't, it cannot defend itself. The blue threat has been purged. Return your squad and I shall attend to the remainder below. Cool. We did that really well overall. Getting the hang of uh, the battle. Things to work on for now is better utilization of warp points. Uh, that was a bit random. Uh, not majorly random, but uh, we could have done that a bit better. Armor. Take this and...
Sin Flare. What kind of weapon is that? Uh, that's the Psy Cannon. Nah, we're not using Psy Cannons. So for now we're just gonna go with uh, the Armor. And we got two promotions. So Jim here. Got the Terminator armor. He, he got like he's all over the place. I would love him to be uh, to reskill his abilities, but for now, I like the honor of the chapter, which is a great option. And he can hand over two AP to someone else. He uh, basically creates a plus one AP situation. So yeah, that's that's going to be it for now. And Lena has a has a promotion as well. I like the scour uh, scourging that uh, has worked relatively well, but uh, we need to go here. And unfortunately, the only way to do that is this. Plus two heal on the battlefield medicine into then going to here. Terminator armor is fine. I'm not saying that the scourging is bad or anything. I think that with more area, it becomes really, really nice. Or bleed affliction uh, gain plus one. So that's uh, that increases it from six points of damage uh, three two and one uh, to ten points of damage four three two one which is a sizable upgrade I think you can work with bleed damage um, this costs two uh, will po uh, will point or war points and healing also costs two war points so inherently these two are in conflict which is why I wanted the servitor so bad because once you are in this essentially uh, rolling in dough because uh, that'll give you two servitors right for three uh, uses each that's pretty damn good hmm Plenty of good abilities that two uh, will point uh, war points down here permanently isn't bad either. Two war points here isn't bad either. So there are a couple of nice uh, caster abilities as well. Uh, I think at some point I need to reskill her, but I wouldn't want to do that too early. For now, it's not like we're majorly missing anything. Um, we are just at the beginning of the game, so it's normal to find your footing. I would love if we could, if we could just order these guys here. So we got two apothecaries. Lena and Grell. We got uh, two interceptors, JP, uh, who's not the teleporter, and Enders, who is the teleporter. Uh, we got Jim, who uh, I think just got a couple of extra days on wounded. He's lightly wounded, but the mission now forced him to be longer uh, wounded for longer. But I think that's fine. We're we're doing overall okay and we have uh, thought of two of uh, these unfortunate events so let's move to here in which case 
if we move to hmm, if we move to here we could get to here here oh, in relative uh, in relative speed we could also move to here which gives us access to one two three four last time it spawned here there's unfortunately no connection here let's just stay in the middle I haven't really figured out how the spawning of the missions happens. What I figured out is there are a lot of really negative random events that are quite unfun. Currently research is interrupted, I think. And we do have a couple of seats. I'm not yet 100% sure what the Poxa seats do, but yeah, we're going to find out. In terms of stratagems, this is good. Healing all nights uh, and combat servitors are teleported to a visible location. That's dope. All visible enemies are de facto immobilized. All knights have a crit chance of 50%. Oh, it's also unbelievably good. But I have no idea what that here does. The seed gives plus one requisition, plus one stratagem slot. Plus one waypoint on warp search. No, warp point on warp search. Oh, that's not bad either. So we're gaining more uh, warp points. That isn't bad either. Less warp search. Okay, cool. Yeah, all of that is actually good. Only got one stratagem, so never mind. Let's advance time. New Bloom activity. Who would have guessed? So for starters, what are we building at the moment? In progress. No, 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 we don't want to change. Let's do that augmentation chamber. Once it's done, we're kind of repairing this. So how bad is it? Um, could move to here. And then actually go over here. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I think that's the right call. What... Uh, is the mission going to do? Eliminate all seed carriers and finish the mission before you take 20 points of damage. 15 servitors is good. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, let's move there. Very, very good. Um, I think pretty much done here. Two more days for that. Research is progressing, although it was uh, said that Valkyr have my attention, knight. Uh, was injured, but she seems to not uh, really uh, care too much. And we have just woundings all around but what am I supposed to do so I think what we could do is Jim here lightly wounded uh, then Anders uh, who is also lightly wounded Zoe who's lightly wounded and Linus kind of our main team just getting them down there and try to take as little damage as uh, humanly possible 
Grandmaster report uh, due in five days. Higher recruits would be helpful. Better melee weapons wouldn't be bad as well. Okay, I see. So you can upgrade each of them and then it gives you a certain chance. I think the armor is what I'm after at the moment. But melee and ranged weapons are helpful as well. It's just we need to be careful with the requisition points. Uh, they are a thicker resource as well. Um, we spent them at the beginning just to get kind of a base set of armor. But we don't need to over uh, overdo it. Uh, we're we're good for now. Santor. In terms of melee weapons, maybe I'm missing something. But the sword is actually super good uh, with a 50% parry chance because this guy doesn't have a lot of defense elsewise. And in terms of stone bolters, he already has a good stone bolter. Uh, we got new armor. This one here uh, gains immunity to affliction or to immobil uh, immobilization, shall I say. The amount of damage this unit can suffer before being destroyed. Plus three hit points, that is. And the alternative is one uh, one armor. Hmm. You know what? Let's equip this uh, for now. Not a bad armor at all. In terms of grenades, we have quite a few, but the blast grenades are super good. I really, really like them, uh, which is why I'm Zabaz. so unhappy that um, that I can't get here for now. Emperor's Light was good, but unfortunately we couldn't get to here. Um, yeah, the blinded isn't bad. I potentially wouldn't skill that again, but for now we can just work with it. It's okay. I definitely wanted extra grenades, so this here is important because the grenades are dope. They are just incredibly good. Uh, the return fire isn't bad either. I, I am considering using that, but uh, definitely a focus on the weapon for now. Then maybe return fire and maybe more ammunition because the reality is also you're running out of ammunition quite often um, i think for the bigger weapons like for those with two ammo uh, the uh, pulse uh, rifles that's that's not bad uh, to begin with but even for scatter uh, shot please all ammunition um, and i think that the scatter shot deals more ammo when you do have uh, more damage when you do have more ammunition. Yeah, but we're going to do that, and then I want to definitely go for the grenades. That seems like a really solid play. In terms of melee weapons, I think we're sticking with the Deliverer. If we only have one healer, that uh, the Deliverer is too good to not take it. And uh, Jim, our main Justicar. Don't have any better melee weapon at the moment. The halberds are super good. I really, really like them.
Yeah, I think we got everything that we need for now. Um, and I also think that brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, if you want to help uh, the poor like button to survive the onslaught of bullets that is going to rain down on it, try to uh, click it to see if it can activate its Aegis so that it has a little bit of armor. Thanks a lot and have a good one. See you next episode. Bye bye.